Hello, and welcome from the frigid east coast of the United States. In this video, we are going to look at the oxidation of alcohols, specifically the oxidation of primary alcohols to aldehydes and the oxidation of secondary alcohols to ketones. One of the widely used oxidizing agents for the oxidation of alcohols is the permanganate ion. Permanganate has the formula MnO4 with a minus one charge. In this ion, manganese has a plus seven oxidation number. Permanganate has the structure as shown in the following diagram. In acidic solution, the manganese plus 7 ion is reduced to manganese plus 2. So this in acid solution is a 5 electron reduction. It is also particularly useful because manganese plus 7 has a distinct purple color, whereas manganese 2 plus is virtually colorless. Several important oxidizing agents for the oxidation of alcohols involve chromium. One of these is chromic anhydride, sometimes called chromium trioxide. And in this particular species, chromium has a plus six oxidation number. Typically, when acting as an oxidizing agent, chromium is transformed, is reduced from chromium plus six to chromium plus three. So chromium in this state does a three electron oxidation. Chromic anhydride has the structure as shown in the following diagram. Another way to introduce this chromium plus six uh, oxidation state, sometimes called hexavalent chrome, because hex is the Greek prefix meaning six. Another way to introduce that is through the chromate ion. Chromate ion has the formula CrO4 with a minus two charge. Chromate has the structure as shown in the following diagram. Still a third way to introduce chromium plus six as our oxidizing agent involves the use of dichromate ion. Dichromate ion has the formula Cr2O7 with a minus two charge, and dichromate has the structure as shown in the following diagram. When oxidizing primary alcohols in aqueous solution, there is a considerable danger of overoxidation. In the process, we go from a primary alcohol to an aldehyde, but then oxidation continues and we have the formation of a carboxylic acid. If we want to stop the oxidation process at the aldehyde, we need to employ a specialized version of hexavalent chrome, chrome plus six. This particular species that we have to use is pyridinium chlorochromate, 
often abbreviated as PCC. To form PCC, we make it in situ, we make it on the spot, we combine pyridine, which is a liquid, with hydrochloric acid gas, hydrogen chloride, HCl, and then we add chromic anhydride as a solid and mix this species together. Since there is no water, it is a non-aqueous solution, we are assured that our oxidation will stop at the aldehyde and not continue on to the carboxylic acid. Now let's look at the mechanism for the oxidation of a primary alcohol. Here we notice that we have the hydroxyl group, the alcohol group, is attached to a carbon that is attached to some group R, which may be either a hydrogen or some extended alkyl group. We also notice that attached to the same carbon as the hydroxyl group, we have two hydrogens which are color-coded in blue. These are alpha hydrogens. The first step in the mechanism of the oxidation of a primary alcohol is the abstraction of one of these two hydrogen atoms. So let's denote our oxidizing agent just as ox here in green. Then the first step in oxidation is the abstraction of the hydrogen with two electrons. So hydrogen is being abstracted as hydride H minus. Both of the electrons are coming along with the oxidizing agent. What does this give us? One of the two hydrogen atoms, the other alpha hydrogen remains behind And since hydrogen left as hydride, as H minus, to maintain electrical neutrality in the reaction, the remaining species must have a positive charge. In the second and final step, a base, which could be pyridine, comes along and abstracts hydrogen but now it abstracts it as H+. Plus. So hydrogen leaves, but without any electrons. We have a shifting of those two electrons into the carbon-oxygen single bond, and we are left with a carbon-oxygen double bond, and we have formed a class of compounds which are called aldehydes. In the following slides, please follow along as we trace the mechanism in the specific case for methanol, showing computed steps of the process that we accomplished using electronic structure calculations.
Now we look at the oxidation of a secondary alcohol. So here is the general structure of a secondary alcohol attached to the carbon that has the hydroxyl group. Notice that we have two R groups, which we've denoted as R and R prime. R and R prime can be either different or the same, but it's important that neither of them can be hydrogen alone. If either of these or both were hydrogens, we would have a primary alcohol and not a secondary alcohol. So R and R prime must be alkyl groups of some type. Notice that we have a single hydrogen that's attached to the carbon that holds the hydroxyl group. So in this case, for a secondary alcohol, we have only one alpha hydrogen. So the first step in the oxidation of the secondary alcohol is similar to the situation that we had for primary alcohols in that we have removal of hydrogen with both of its electrons as hydride by the oxidizing agent. So we see that the, our arrows go from hydrogen to the oxidizing agent. So it's kind of surprising because usually we draw arrows going to hydrogen because usually hydrogen is electron deficient. Here, because it's hydride, it is electron rich. And we draw the arrow in the opposite direction. After hydride has left our secondary alcohol, we are left with the following structure, which we know has to have a positive charge. And we might put the positive charge as being localized here. And then in the next step, as in the case of the primary alcohol, a base, which could be for a secondary alcohol, might be water, for example, abstracts hydrogen as H+. Plus. So now we get the electron arrow going in the direction that we're more used to it to abstract this hydrogen as H+. Plus. So we notice that in this case, this hydrogen leaves as hydride, as H minus, whereas this hydrogen, which we've cleverly drawn in a different color, leaves as the more usual H plus. The overall effect is the loss of H2. As H plus leaves with the base, the two electrons in this bond are shifted to the carbon-oxygen single bond, and the result is a compound with a carbon-oxygen double bond, which we recognize as a ketone. So we notice that primary alcohols oxidize to aldehydes, if we are sure to use PCC as our oxidizing agent. Otherwise, it goes to an aldehyde and then continues to a carboxylic acid. There is no such problem in the oxidation of secondary alcohols. We can use our traditional manganese or chromium oxidizing agents, and we know that we're going to get a ketone in any case. In table one, we compute the enthalpy of oxidation of a primary alcohol. Now, to make things easy, the way I computed this particular reaction is for the reaction going from the alcohol to the protonated aldehyde 
plus hydride. The actual enthalpy change in the oxidizing agent being reduced, I have omitted to account for the fact that we can use various oxidizing agents. For the enthalpy of the reaction, that is for the reaction going from the primary alcohol to the corresponding aldehyde. For table two, the enthalpy of oxidation refers to the following reaction, the secondary alcohol transforming to a protonated ketone plus hydride ion. The actual effect on the oxidizing agent being reduced is not included in that calculation to allow for the use of multiple oxidizing agents. The enthalpy of reaction for the overall reaction refers to the oxidation of the secondary alcohol to the ketone plus H2. I thank you very much for your attention, stay warm, and have a good one.